Dangerous Dave and I'm here to show you how to catch not just fish but catch um, I like to go through show you what I show you what I fish with what I like um, what I prefer and it helps me do what I need to do um, I don't just fish for fun I fish out of necessity um, I like to use an open face reel, uh, 8, 9, 10 or better foot pole. Um, I, I'll use a braided line, 80 pounds, 60 pound braided line, main line, main line. Then I'll use, I'll use slip sinkers as a weighting system. I'll use number 5 or better barrel swivels. Then. I like to use uh, 80 to 100 pound, maybe even 150 pound test braided line for my uh, for my leaders. I'm also using circle hooks and octopus hooks. Um, I'll use a five or four, four to eight odd hooks, um, depending on what kind, of, what size fish, and what uh, fish that I'm targeting. My braided line or my leader line. I'll use a braided uh, 100 pound um, braided line and I'll use these barrel swivels on, on a lot of places you, you know, when it's hard to find barrel swivels you'll find them with the ends on them, um, with the connector ends. What I'll, what I'll do is I'll take a pair of pliers and I'll cut that off. I'll cut that off and you're left with the barrel swivel. What I'll do is I'll take the barrel, so I'll take my take my slip sinker, and I'll put the slip sinker put the slip sinker on my main line. I like to use some of these little stoppers at the end. Kind of keeps my keeps my keeps my line from getting uh, frayed out, and I don't have to change it as often. It kind of helps the knot as well. I'm not putting it on. I'm going to take my, my sinker, put it on my main line. As you see, it's just sliding around. Take it through my barrel swivel. Now I like to I'll double loop it. Double loop it for strength. kind of doubles the poundage up. Now I'll just do seven wrap. And what I like to do with this braided line is at the end of it, kind of braided line likes to slip a lot. It's not going to break, but it'll slip a lot. And what I'll do is I'll take a lighter, or even a cigarette, and I'll put a little ball at the end of it. Kind of, kind of keeps it from slipping. Kind of keeps the knot on there. Keeps it from slipping out. And I'll take my main line, or take my my leader line. And I'll tie it up to the other side of the barrel swivel. And I'll use about, I don't know, about two foot, maybe three foot, depending on the size of your pole. You can put away about this much. Take it out. Get off. Now when I hook these, when I tie these hooks up, what I'll do. It's kind of like a reverse knot. I don't tie the knot to itself. I'll tie the tie the knot to the hook. I put it through. Point it back at me. Do a couple little quick wraps. Hold that, and I'll spin it. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but tie it into itself. And once again, I'll take a lighter, put me a little, put me a little ball at the end of that. Keeps it. Just
just in case it, it gets something really big and it stresses the line out to where it starts sliding onto itself or sliding out of itself. Got that down. Let's go catch some fish. Hey, Dunn. Dangerous day. We're going to be doing some uh, fishing out here up here on rocks. Get some jumbo shrimp. Um, just got out here. Well, it's about 3 o'clock. And uh, let's see what we can't get ourselves into today. Catfishing requires patience. Sometimes to sit in a spot for hours in the dark. The sun, the wind, the cold, and the rain waiting for the light. I paint the ends of my rods fluorescent green with nail polish to help the contrast of the water for the night fishing. I watch my poles intensely looking for a sign of a bite, like my line unwinding slowly from my reel or a slight twitch from my rod tip. Once they start to bite, you have to be ready to set the hook. Well, no, I'm going to this guy's too small. Little guy, a couple pounds. Not really my size for eating, but, you know, some people eat these. Uh, I like them a little bigger. Um, bigger get them to some people. Get down here. That's what we come for right here. Nice little kitty cat. Add that to the bucket. Uh, what about seven pounds? Still got a lot of fight in it. I got another bike. Ah, how dangerous day. No, you're not. <laughs>